Our government has promised to share equally the 50 trucks under the oil tanker youth empowerment scheme to all the country's 10 provinces through the constituency office. And Minister of Youth, Sport and Art, Elvis Nkandu, has implored youths that will benefit from the government-sponsored oil tankers a youth empowerment scheme to familiarize themselves with established oil marketing companies in order to learn the art of the oil business. Mr. Nkandu, who was in the company of his permanent secretary, Chileshe Kangwa, during the rather Chilkangwa during the inspection of the acquired trucks at Haiga premises says it would be pr practically impossible for the youths without any experience in oil business to effectively manage the tanker trucks, hence the need to incubate with existing OMCs. And King Long Company General Manager Wu Ming says his company that has been in the country for over two decades will soon sign a memorandum of understanding aimed at training and capacitating 50 Zambian youths with engineering skills to manage the oil tankers. Ms. Tankandu told the media after a conducted tour and inspection of the fleet that they will be fairly distributed to youths across the country, including areas of the, the line of rail. He further revealed that the government has started recovering amounts from the previous fleet of 50 distributed under the PF regime, citing the recent payment of 9 million kwacha by Kapesika Oil Marketing Company, which incubated 30 tanker trucks, and another 1.5 million from Mount Meru, which got for 18 trucks. Sure. My coming here also, I've, I've learned one or two things, and I'm very happy uh, from from uh, from King Long. That uh, I think what, what what we have between King Long and government, I think we should appreciate it because apart from empowering youth with tankers, King Long is also empowering the young people with skills. So far, we are about to sign an, an MOU where 50 young people should come here and also uh, be given skills so that they can now maintain these, 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 these trucks. I am aware that we have an engineer from, from China who is here, stationed here now to start uh, imparting knowledge into our young people. And you know when they, uh, they have that knowledge, they will go and make their own workshops. This is the empowerment we are, what we are talking about. So for those young people who want to be, uh, who want to associate with themselves with the, with the, with the ministry in terms of becoming mechanic, me, me, uh, uh, to, they want to do mechanics, they are able to come to the ministry and will facilitate for them to come to this to, to this workshop, King Long Motors, so that they are imparted with the knowledge that they may desire. <laughs> so for me, and on behalf of the New Dawn government, we are very happy. And I think maybe f from now on, people will be able to know that uh, we are on top of things and we'll make sure that uh, the deserving cooperatives are given. You may, you, may, you may ask a question, but how are we going to do it? We have 50 tankers which will be given out to provinces. The provinces also will consult members of parliament who consult members of parliament so that we look for those viable cooperatives that we, we can give these out tankers to. So for me, everything is in place and come, come I think, come January, these tankers will be, will be gone. And another important thing, you, you are also aware that the oil marketing industry has been dominated by foreigners. We need to appreciate that. Now, here is a government who wants now to make sure that the young people take a center stage in the oil marketing industry. Because now we have 100 tankers, isn't it? Yes, yes, and we, yes, we intend to procure more so that the market is saturated, so that we don't have fuel shortages. You know we are aware that in Den is limping. We are very much aware. So we need to procure as more tankers as possible. So obviously, you're watching the news 